Hey, what's up guys? It's Evasion Productions here, and today what I'm going to be showing you is me and my two friends beating skill loss on 35. Now before we get started, feel free to leave a thumbs up button and subscribe as that both really support me. And also, I will be showing you a Judgment's Chance package opening at the end of this video, and also you'll be seeing my rewards from this. And also my good friend React was in this lobby, go check him out, I'm going to link him in the description below. He... this is his... Third time beating? Yeah, third time beating President Railways 35. He is going to beat it much, much more times this week. Many more times this week, probably, because he's a beast. So go check him out. Link in the description below. Alright, and the strategy for this is you need 334s, 3 max, or 3, 365 Galahorns, and um, a Titan is pretty much ideal because with a bubble, either blessing or weapons, both of them, we had both of them, which really helped. So yeah, you definitely need uh, 334s with 365 Galahorns, or else it'll be really hard because uh, React, he spent about 7 or 8 hours doing it with only 2 people that had Galahorns, and that's how long it took for them to do it. So it's definitely recommended to have 3 Galahorns maxed out. Oh, and also, after you kill Skolas, um, you still have to defuse these Splinter Mines. For some reason, you still have to. I don't know why. There were two waves of them for us. Um, it's, it seems like a glitch. Hopefully, they'll fix that soon. I mean, maybe it's not a glitch. Maybe they want it to be that way, but I'm just warning you because React was him and another person in his fire team for his second time through. He, or they were actually going into the, uh, what's it called, the, the room, the end room, whatever, whatever it's called, and they almost forgot about the Splinter Cells, so just keep that in mind, you're still going to have to defuse them at the end. Alright, so that's pretty much it, I'm just going to skip to the rewards from the treasure chest, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we go, just going in this hole, just opened up for us, drop down here, I wonder what these platforms are for, maybe just... So you don't lose a dramatic amount of health. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. But anyways, here's this treasure room. All this gold and silver and whatever. Freaking wealth all over the place. So from this first chest, I get strange coin. And obviously I get the weapon and armor core, etheric light. And I got the fusion rifle, Tekun something. <laughs> um, Tekun force. The impact is crazy. I, the charge rate is pretty low but I have acquired coils or accurized coils I think that's what it's called my bad sorry guys but um yeah it's it's pretty decent that like I said the impact is good but charge rate is low I have that perk so it brings the charge rate up and I got the ship which is sexy and the shader it's okay and the emblem just shows off to everyone in the lobby that you beat it so yeah Alright, and then from this package, I knew that it would go in the Postmaster because my primaries were full. Well, I didn't know that it would be a primary, but yeah, so I bought the I bought the package thingy with the armor core and weapon core. So I go to the Postmaster, and it's the Scout Rifle. Now, I've, I've tried this thing out, and it's a beast. It's really freaking good. Um, I really haven't tried any other House of Wolves primary that I got, so I can't really compare it. All I know is it's a beast, so yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to link my friend in the description below. Go subscribe to him. He's awesome. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time.